one of the questions that usually comes up at some point when working with potentiometers is can we use the potentiometer to control the speed of the motor? Now, commonly, students will go towards using the until potentiometer greater than and until potentiometer less than options as a way to control the speed. Something like what you see here, where as the potentiometer is rotated past 1,000, it takes the motor and puts it at a 30 speed. When you get to 2,000, you go to 60, 3,090, and then 4,000 takes it up to 120. And then they used a until potentiometer lesser than to go backwards back down to zero. And this works, but it has very defined values, and it really doesn't allow for variance of the motor speed. So there's another way to do it. In this case, instead of uh, using the lesser than and greater than, we're going to set up a repeat loop. And we're going to do a repeat forever so that it is just always running that motor and always checking the sensor. And then we use this for speed, we use this sensor value of the potentiometer divided by 32. Now, why 32? Well, the full um, rotation of the potentiometer is 4095. Full speed for the motor is 127. So we just divide it out to get that value. This should take that formula and calculate the speed using the formula. So let's check to see what happens. So let's say we want to take that same code, but this time we want to add the ability to reverse the direction of the motor. For this, we're going to add a button, and we're going to measure the sensor value of the button. So we set up a condition. In this case, if the sensor value registers a zero, meaning that the button is not being held down, we're going to move the motor in a forward direction. If the button is being pushed, that sensor value will change. So anything other than zero for our button, that would be a value of one, is going to reverse the motor. And in doing this, all we add is that negative sign in front of the sensor value. So let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. 